Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about how to create deep emotional intimacy with your lover. This is tip number two on this topic. And uh, the idea is very simple, timing. If you want to engage and create connection with your lover, it's very important to keep in mind when the time is right. Suppose that you are with your partner in the morning and your partner is preparing to go to work and they are a little bit in a hurry. And then suddenly you have this urge to tell them how much you love them and tell them about last night and so on. The timing is wrong. It's really inappropriate sometimes to start engaging into an intimate connection the moment the person is about to leave. Why? Because they are not going to be present. They are going to be worried about a whole lot of other things and they are not going to be receptive to what you have to say and what you have to exchange. So you have lots of other times that are not appropriate very often to be able to create a deep emotional connection with somebody. Another time that is not really, really good is very often when your partner comes back from work again. Coming back into the house, into the space, very often you need a little bit of time to you know, to ground, to reset, maybe you need to go to the bathroom, clean up a little, and then you come back and then you are present. But if you catch your partner just when they are coming back, hey, guess what, what happened yesterday to me, and uh, you expect their full attention, and they are still like, you know, stacked in the traffic jams, and so you need to give them space to simply arrive. This is very important. Another core mistake that people make when trying to engage into intimacy and really creating deep connection is that Suppose that it's Saturday night and you have this great party going on at some friend's place and then you go over there, you go with your partner, with your lover, and then you come back home, you have been drinking a little bit, it's three o'clock in the morning, and then you, have, uh, you still want to have sex, so you have a quick 15 minute sex session, and then you fall asleep, and that's it. So what happened there is that you gave priority to a social event rather than giving priority to, uh, social, uh, to sexual interaction and to being able to be in a space of, uh, of uh, security and safety where you can really dive into sensual exploration. So this is the typical behavior that most people have. You know, you will be in the evening there, maybe watching TV or doing things on your computer or still working from home or dealing with the kids or dealing with practical things or taking care of taxes. And then it's 10 o'clock at night, everybody's really tired, you go to bed, you have quickly sex and then you fall asleep. So where is the, the, the protected space? Where is the romantic space that you created with your partner to glorify this moment of intimacy? What if instead of being trapped in the practical mode, and uh, doing all this stuff online <clears throat> and dealing with all these practical things, you say, you know what, tonight we have a tantric sex date. And uh, at, I come back home at six o'clock, we turn off everything, computers, cell phone, and we dedicate that time to each other. It's like quality, romantic, sensual time. We take time to be present with each other, to dive into practices and uh, sexual experiences that are going to open the space between us. You know, there are lots of practices, lots of things that you can do to create that level of intimacy. But the first thing which is really important is simply to take the time. If you don't take the time and you are trapped in all sorts of other priorities, when you come back together and you're tired, it's, it's too late. 10 o'clock in the evening when you're tired, it's very often too late. You can still have juice, you might still have passion, but it's only a fraction of the potential that you have there. Okay, so this timing thing is really keep it in, uh, keep it in mind because it's essential to create, to create intimacy. Another aspect is that, for instance, during the week, uh, sometimes we are trapped also in practical things to solve. And when the weekend comes, that's when there is space to open up intimacy. So if you want to create deep, energetic, emotional intimacy with your lover, then make creating uh, protected time and space a priority and uh, something that works really well for instance when you're exploring tantric sex or you know other aspects of sensuality is to have set up uh, tantric sex dates it means that for instance Tuesday Thursday and Friday you have between 6 to 10 in the evening that's it you have a tantric sex date with your lover or partner 
There is much more to say about that, but I'll be back soon with another video. I'll see you soon.